and how it goes. It's all good. Hi, this is Martin Patella, founder of Life Enthusiast. This is Life Enthusiast Radio Online. Today we are welcoming Eric Green, the co-founder of Dow Cloud. He's also the marketing officer. And the reason we're talking to him today is we want to introduce to you the service that Dow Cloud represents. Eric, welcome. Awesome. Thanks for having me, Martin. Appreciate it. So, Eric, um, if, if I were to say Dow Cloud is going to help me on my journey to resolve chronic inflammatory disease that the doctors are just not helping me fix, would you say, oh, yeah, we can? Well, really, yeah, it's the, the community, being able to connect with a community of like-minded people that have gone through similar experiences, being able to learn from each other, um, and just some background and context for us. You know, me and my co-founder, we both learned to reverse chronic health issues that, you know, conventional um, systems, I would say, misunderstood. You know, the conventional medical model kind of missed the mark at addressing the root cause of the disease. So really being able to tap into a community of people that are also focusing on addressing the root cause, preventing and reversing chronic issues, uh, being able to see what's working for other people, also what local wellness professionals are being able to help people like you and be able to get guidance and support from those professionals is, is really essential. So whether Dow Club, the software, or Dow Club, the community is helping you, either way, Dow Club's a valuable resource that can connect you with information and local practitioners that can help you address the root cause of the disease and even potentially reverse or prevent diseases that might be in your family history. Well, I know we don't dare to say that because we're not allowed to say that. We do not prevent any darn thing. We just stop symptoms. Sure. The moment I put the flag up, you have prevented a disease. Well, now you have become a doctor without a license and off with your head. Mm -hmm. So <laughs> I try to legally correct be in my statement saying, I only help your body fix whatever's out of line, put it back in line. Mm -hmm. Well, just consider my story. Uh, I have been at this now for 40 years. I got broken back in my 20s by mercury poisoning. Mm. And of course, it's bearing fruit. Like right now, for example, my face is all flushed up because I ended up getting hit by some tree nuts on the weekend mm. and I didn't realize that we're in the food and I don't do well with tree nuts. Oh, wow. And yeah. you know, da -da. So instead of video presentable, I'm video blotch, yeah. right? There you go. It happens. It happens oh, to the totally. best you know, I understand. Though, I was just going to comment though on just like the, the wounded healer. You know, it's really common that, you know, the leaders in the wellness space have our own kind of personal experiences and you mentioned, uh, you know, mercury poisoning. I know Dr. Hyman. Um, yes, Mark Hyman. Sean Dees, he also dealt with um, heavy metal toxicity kind of early on. And that was one of the inspirations for him was being able to address yes. and reverse that. So really interesting how we all kind of have our own stories there. Indeed. Well, I understand that you said you, both you and your co-founder also have this yeah. motivation in this particular area, right? Yes. Yeah, for sure. Care to share a bit? Um, yeah, for sure. So I'll, I'll start with kind of my story because there's actually a name for the disease. So when I was about 17, 18, I was diagnosed with Crohn's disease um, and just started, you know, kind of experiencing what I describe as an ongoing stomach virus is the way that I experienced it. Um, nausea, lack of appetite. I was never overweight, but I was losing weight. And the conventional route was basically, well, you've got these symptoms, we'll cover them up. And when it gets bad and the symptoms come back, then we'll just write another prescription. And um, mm. I was living in this kind of naive state, you know, believing that, uh, well, there's a pill for every disease. So this is just the path that I'll have to take. And, yeah. um, you know, I'm blessed to have grown up in this world of advanced science and medicine where at least they do have a pill for the Easter. right, and and the um, prognosis was not quite explained to you that they right right. There's never any discussion about well, what's the root cause of this disease? That, it's yeah. like well, these are the symptoms. Here's how we can cover them up. Um, there might be some side effects, kind of in small print. But then when I went and I read about these side effects 
and started experiencing them, the side effects actually ended up becoming worse than the disease itself. Um, and that was really alarming for me as, you know, 18 year olds was like, well, there's got to be a better way. You know, I've got a lot of years ahead of me. And if the side effects just keep becoming worse and worse, then I'm going to be dealing with all these kinds of things that I don't have to be dealing with if I were to just, you know, get to the root cause of all these symptoms. Yes, indeed. Um, and that was kind of the, the wake up for me to do my own research. Um, and so really you like, did, right? Yeah, exactly. So really like freshman year of college is when I hit bottom. And um, at the same time, I had access to all this amazing information. So I started doing research on nutrition, just implementing more diet, lifestyle changes. And without even knowing it, without even knowing what functional medicine was, I was kind of starting to take a, a very similar approach as functional medicine kind of provides, which is um, helping people figure out what the trigger foods are, yes. changing, you know, any kind of lifestyle changes that are getting in the way of the body healing itself. Right. So, yeah. This is the flag phrase, the root cause resolution. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and I started seeing progress without even the guidance of any kind of functional MDs or anything like that. I was seeing improvements. I was able to actually get to the point where I wasn't taking any of the prescriptions. So dealing with the side effects of these prescriptions was kind of out of the way. And I was still dealing with low energy and high amounts of inflammation and um, still dealing with some symptoms, but it was getting better. And then I was introduced to functional medicine. Um, it was through a family friend that had also um, been diagnosed with Crohn's disease a couple of years before I had. And being introduced to a functional MD really just accelerated the healing process for me because I was able to look quantitatively at my blood work, see what my hormonal imbalances, nutritional imbalances, and, and balance those out um, using supplements. Um, I was also the first day of, you know, being introduced to a functional MD in my first consultation, I left with a list of suggestions, no prescriptions, but just suggestions, meditate, practice yoga every day. <laughs> um, let's do an elimination diet. So this was right. also one of the most important things is let's eliminate all the possible right. trigger is, foods. Isn't that a shocker when you're told to do less? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's really amazing. And, and also just giving guidance on, you know, what's actually the problem. Let's actually address the problem here. Um, and just hold myself accountable for leading the process, right? I wasn't going to the doctors that the doctor tell me, here's what to do. You know, here's what I'm going to do for you. It was really like, here's what you can do yourself. Here's how you can be a better healer of your own body. Here's how you can take more responsibility for your own self-care. Um, that was really the major kind of paradigm shift. And um, I just see that this is a paradigm that I think everyone would benefit from, whether they have a chronic disease or not, is just to be able to take ownership for own self-care. Yes, I think that's critical. That's an excellent point. Yeah. When, I guess we tell people, you need to understand that the antecedents the stuff that happens before has mm. consequence. Mm -hmm. So if you want to change, you must change the inputs. Mm -hmm. You cannot stay doing what you've always done and expect results that are other than what you're getting now. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. And a lot of times you're, you're right. Less is more in the sense that when you take things away, now the body has more energy to just heal itself. All right. In the sense of just taking away a food that's okay. not serving you. So now, what, X years, seven years later? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Is that, is that how much time has just gone by? Been, yeah. Yeah. It's been about seven years now. And um, yeah, I mean, the only kind of lingering measurable effect of the disease is just relatively high levels of inflammation. So that's the area that I'm focusing on now. But right. uh, no signs of autoimmune activity. Um, great. No real symptoms. Energy is great. So right. So um, it looks like you're gonna have a decent life. Yeah. Instead exactly. of this, just coasting, barely having the yeah. day when you can actually function. You function. And to be honest, time. I'm really grateful for the experience. Yeah. Like I, I wouldn't be as healthy as I am today. I wouldn't have um, all this inspiration to share with other people right. if I didn't go through that experience myself. So. Okay. Definitely, yeah, the next, you know, yeah. 40 years of my life, I won't be dealing with a whole host of side effects. Um, but I do have a lot of responsibility having gone through this journey to help yes. other people. Indeed. In situations, yeah. Okay. 
Uh, do you want to say anything about your co-founder? Uh, yeah, so he had a kind of similar experience. Is, but in is a that Max? Lens. That was Max, yeah. So What's Max, his last name? Uh, Max Coleman. Uh, All right. Max is our CEO, and uh, he had a very similar experience kind of being misunderstood by the conventional route, um, but in a much different way in the sense that there was never a name. So in my case, we were put a, a name, it's Crohn's disease, um, yeah. In his case, um, there was never put a, a, a name on it, but he was uh, prescribed ADHD um, pharmaceutical okay. since he was about you know in first grade. That led so to, he was he was uh, on the autistic spectrum of some sort, right? Not autistic spectrum, but ADHD spectrum with ever without any diagnosis. So he was All never right. diagnosed with ADD, HD, ADHD, but for some reason was prescribed with those yeah, um, okay. pharmaceutical drugs. Um, and that just led to anxiety, tension, physical tension, which led to foot pain, back pain, hip pain, all kinds of different <laughs> pain okay. for a, a relatively, you know, on the outside, you'd see like a healthy kid who had a lot of energy right. um, that was manifesting all this kind of physical pain yeah. um, that was going all through his body and uh, going to the talk expert at Johns Hopkins who are looking at x-rays and oh there's nothing wrong everything on your charts yeah. looks fine it must be in your head isn't that classic right yeah. everything's normal you are normal in every way and of course you don't look different so there's no um, leeway, leeway given yeah. to you right like you're just expected to be normal except you're not right and also yeah like ex like the idea that like yeah like for a kid to be in pain like that's normal that's okay um, there's definitely, you know, there's a problem there. And, and when a kid is, has too much energy and, you know, that's, that's not a problem. I think that's, that's a, a good opportunity to, to yes. let that child learn, you know, there's so much energy for learning, for growth. Yeah. Um, so right. yeah, much kind of different story, but in the end, you know, kind of similar approach using diet lifestyle, just, you know, addressing yeah. the root cause, balancing out stress. Right, like right. That and, okay. Yeah. So let's let's just uh, tell people what we're actually telling them about. Yes, there's lots of motivation. We do understand them. We know. I, I it's for me. It's yes. I've got the T-shirt. I know who you are. I know you intimately. I've talked to thousands of people just like you because yeah. I know the progression. I know the frustrations. I know that. Number one, doctors don't believe there's anything wrong with you. Number two, your family thinks that you're faking it. Number three, are, and so on. Like those are common, common problems. And they need to be shared. And there needs to be a platform where we can validate one another because we think we're nuts. Mm -hmm. And yet, no, they're nuts. We're just trying to tell them what's going on here, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think a big part of it for me was kind of waking up and seeing that there is this whole community of like-minded people that are going through similar journeys that are all learning kind of piece by piece what's working for them. Um, so that's kind of what, what we're building is this online community where you can find wellness information and resources and connect with a whole community of wellness professionals everywhere from functional naturopathic medicine doctors to acupuncturists nutritionists, chiropractors, massage therapists, health coaches, okay. energy workers, really the, the whole spectrum. So we have, we have this balance of local help mm -hmm. or community help, right? Yeah. So you can either try and find somebody that's going to be useful to you right there locally that you can go physically see or somebody like ourselves where we can be actually accessed online. For, exactly. Yeah. Uh, Finding content. Yep. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, do, do you think that it would be useful to show people on screen? Yeah, yeah, I can give a quick screen share. So let's uh, get you set up here. Can you see my screen now? Do you see my mouse moving? Yeah, we are looking at the Discover Wellness. Awesome. I'll just give like a quick walkthrough, and this is evolving quite quickly now. So depending on when you see this, it might yeah. look uh, a bit different. Yes. Um, you've seen on the podcast <laughs> now, but this is what it looks like if anyone comes to our website right now, dowcloud.com. Um, it's really easy for people to find local wellness professionals. Um, but the majority of the time, people just come on here and you know they're searching for specific topics. Um, you need to get that call or are we good here? Oh, no, no, I just shut it off.
Oh, you're good. Okay. I didn't realize that I had one application running. That was, that's that's my customer support screen. Somebody wants support. Yeah, cool. Um, awesome. So yeah, anyone can just come on. They can search for topics. Let's say you know I'm looking for help with gut health, for example. Um, I can just search for gut health, and that takes me to the gut health page where I can see everything that's shared by the community specifically related to gut health. You know, people are sharing articles, products, videos, um, and everything here is specifically tagged with topics. So everything on this page is tagged with gut health, for example. Yeah. And they're over a thousand topics. Yeah, yeah, I remember reading the What Are Oxalates, and I thought, yeah, excellent article. <laughs> awesome. Cool. Yeah, there's a lot of valuable information on here. There are over a thousand topics people can research. So each of them have their own kind of tag pages. That's all the information is organized. Right. Um, you know, plus I can come on and engage in discussion, ask okay. questions, um, and just find local wellness professionals who can help with gut health or, you know, really any given topic. Um, and so it really just facilitates that connection between what people need help with and who's really best suited to help them, you know, without people needing to know who right. and what to seek out. So unlike, for example, Facebook, where you will have everything scrolling by with uh, right. pictures of cats and yeah. whatnot, mm -hmm. um, this is focused. Exactly. Yeah, it's focused, it's organized. Um, it's also personalized for everyone. So you saw I was able to come on here without even creating an account or signing in or anything. This is all publicly available, but I'll just show you real quick. People are also signing up to create a more personalized experience. Um, so when I log in here, let's say I'm logging in here as a regular user. So let's just, uh, let's just do a test, uh, test 38 at dowcloud.com just to show you how it This is at 28, cool. just in case it matters. Yeah. <laughs> no, it's okay. Uh, so I'll just call it Paleo Lover, and uh, I'll say I'm in San Francisco. I'll show you that as people sign up, now we ask just some questions to learn about your interests. So we make it all personalized for you. Let's say I'm interested in adrenal health, I'm interested in acupuncture. You'll notice as I'm clicking these things, more related topics are showing up here. Um, it's kind of fun little game that we have people sign up and um, just choose to personalize their experience. Um, so we choose that you choose, we ask that you choose at least six topics when you sign up and you can always choose more. So I'll fill the rest of that out later. Um, you can also create my wellness profile, sharing my wellness story, a little bit about myself. So, I'll do so you could be, you can disclose as much as you want or as little exactly. as that. Yeah. And you saw I created a username, so I don't have to share my own personal information. I could also have my username be my own name. Um, if I wanted to just share that out with the world. I guess some people will be feeling shy about, shy about that. Exactly. Yeah. So people can just choose a username and an avatar image. Um, and you saw as I was signing up, I chose those different topics. So now I see everything that's shared by the community specifically related to my own topics of interest. You know, so it's really like a, a personalized tool, you know, that I can come to on an ongoing basis and really find new ways of improving my health. Um, and what's cool is that as we continue growing and evolving, this is also becoming more and more localized. Um, so I mean, I'll actually be more likely to see what's shared in my own local community, just because as you know, the wellness community is inherently local. You know, so DAPCO is just designed for you to better connect with your local community. Mm -hmm. um, and then one other thing I'll show you real quick and then it's kind of the, the overall gist so I can go into more depth if you wanted. Um, so now you're exploring somebody who could be of service to you, right? Exactly. Yeah. So I just found this professional. She's an acupuncturist there in, in Oregon. Um, and I will do she, see her practice information, professional information, give her a call. Um, I can also see what kind of topics She's listed on her profile. People can endorse her for these topics. There's a good way of, of getting a sense of, you know, what she might be able to help with and what her specialties might be. So mm -hmm. I might not have known to go to seek an acupuncturist, for example, but just by looking for gut health before, 
maybe I found this acupuncturist and I see that she's helped a lot of other people in mm -hmm. my community with gut health. For right on. Yeah. Okay. Good. And um, what, what about the other side? What about if you're a, a health uh, professional that wants to uh, yeah. um, help people? Yeah, so it's cool is that what we're building for wellness professionals, it's a really unique marketing tool that mimics word of mouth. Um, and what we found is that just in working one-on-one -on -one with these wellness professionals as patients was that it was really difficult to know who and you know what to, to trust and who to seek out. There's all these different modalities, right? You know, whether it's naturopathic medicine, functional medicine, Chinese medicine, Ayurvedic medicine, all these different modalities, things that I hadn't even heard of, right? But if I'm just looking for help with Crohn's disease, if I'm just looking for help with stress or back pain or whatever it might be, what modality do I want to seek out? So what we're building is a way for people to just say, hey, yeah, I'm, I've been dealing with stress recently and I'm trying to find local professionals who can help with stress. In the same way that I might talk to a friend about that, now we can just go to the community and say, hey, yeah, who's been helping you with stress? Mm -hmm. um, and that same way, it's kind of like word of mouth online. And now it's just not my one friend who I know has been, you know, going to an acupuncturist, but all the people around me who have been dealing with stress, who's been most helpful for them? Who are they in endorsing for stress, for example? Um, so that's kind of the, the word of mouth online that we're building. Right on. Yeah. Okay, so the, I guess the professionals, in order to uh, get traffic, they will have to probably pay to play, right? Yeah, so it's an annual subscription for professionals. It's a free resource for the public. Um, and so everyone who's joining now, we, we get what we call an extended first-year subscription. Um, because we're still growing the community, um, we don't even start the one-year timer until there's a critical mass of users in each professional's local region. Um, because the value for an acupuncturist is connecting with their local community, when an acupuncturist joins in Portland, we give them a bonus period as we're growing that local net network in Portland. Um, so we give everyone this extended first year subscription as we're growing the community. And we have over 2,000 wellness professionals signed up um, and I'll just show everyone real quick that when you go to DowCloud.com, um, if you're a wellness professional, feel free. There's a button on the top right of the screen, join as a wellness professional. So you can learn more about the community there. Uh, we'll actually have a, a demo video that just goes into more depth, um, all right. how the network works for professionals. But um, So we, we will encourage all of our uh, viewers to uh, recommend it to their own healthcare professionals because of course yeah it's if if you can help one person you can help many exactly yeah yeah for sure so we definitely also make it easy for everyone to uh invite their networks and that's really our, our focus now so just building this community getting more people who are wellness minded on board sharing their experiences and um mm -hmm. and also just be able to find the right types of connections that can really accelerate that healing process. Just like I mentioned before, when I found that one functional MD and my whole healing process really accelerated, we really see DAOCLUD being that platform where people can come on and really just start seeing that healing process accelerate by the connections that they're making here. Yeah, this is an interesting cross of many applications that I have seen online, like the, uh, the famous NG's list where you can find a good plumber yeah. And Facebook, where you can get a community that's going to help you find answers. And, and Twitter, where you can uh, send out an announcement and, and so on, right? Like, you, it seems that you have gone out and picked, uh, cherry-picked, perhaps, the best of the best and pulled it together into one uh, community. Yeah, I mean, really what we did you know, over the course of a couple of years was studying, you know, what's working right now um, and really just honed it in on the wellness community. Um, rather than, you know, rebuilding the wheel, just, you know, what's working with social media, what's working with, you know, information um, platforms, 
online patient communities. Mm -hmm. The wellness community is online. Everyone's seeking information, but it's kind of fragmented. So yep. we're bringing it all together and, and really honing it in on right. the wellness community. So that's why okay. we get comparisons, Facebook for wellness, LinkedIn for wellness, Andy's List for wellness. Um, yeah, it's we out there. yeah, all these different comparisons, but really you'll see as you continue using it is that it's a, it's a unique tool mm -hmm. really honed in and right. designed for are you uh, are you monitoring this or can people game it and for their advantage or how how do you make manage to keep it yeah we're keeping a close eye and we're also uh, thinking about how we'll build and scale moderation as we grow um, so right now we're able to monitor just to, to make sure that everything that's being shared is um, one appropriate it's not just you know hey go eat glass that's kind of our our simple example when we're working with our legal team if someone goes on they suggest eating glass yeah uh, that's obviously not true it's not a good suggestion it's not accurate yeah. so we can go and, and delete things like that um yeah. and no, i was i was more uh, wondering if for example it people with network marketing offers tend to uh, pound in and uh, and just try to dominate the conversations and uh, mm -hmm. do, you, yeah. do you watch for that yeah we haven't really seen any kind of like activity spamming like that um definitely something that we're keeping an eye out just to make sure that you know okay. the integrity of the information is there but um yeah hasn't really been an issue so far and it's really because we're we're framing this as a way of like hey let's just educate one another you All know right. and through that process of education like you certainly will benefit or could benefit, you know, through your business, getting more clients. But um, we've found that people are um, really responsible and respectful about making it relevant information and, and not just an advertisement. Awesome. Yeah. Okay. Great. Can you unshare it now? Yeah, for sure. Let's see how I can do that. Uh, yes. Great. Okay, so here we are, introduction to DAO Cloud. I would like to introduce and share and encourage everyone that's watching it to join in because we need to create a relevant community. Ourselves, life enthusiast, me, I'll, I'm starting to contribute and uh, I would encourage all of our viewers to come in and uh, maybe give me the props if I deserve it. And, uh, and share the health professionals that have helped you, help them get online and the resources that you know are working for you. This is going to help all of us rise. It's, it's like the, uh, on a rising tide, all, all boats float, right? That's right, that's, yeah. That's what we need. Absolutely, and, and we're definitely stoked to have you, Martin, and the Life Enthusiast community Definitely happy to, uh, to support you and, and also just learn from, from everyone who's watching this. I definitely want to know what's worked for you and what your questions are, see how our community can help you and how you can also just contribute to our community as well. Right on. So let's start the discussion. Awesome. So Eric Green, co-founder of Dow Cloud. Thank you very much. This Absolutely. is Martin for Life Enthusiast. If you want more information, www.life-enthusiast.com. The phone number is 866-543-3388. And we are always restoring vitality to you and to the planet. Thank you for visiting with us today.